Anders Carlson has this teed up, ready to get started. And we are underway from AT&T Stadium. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. They'll start on the ground here on first down. Call it no gain on the game's first play. And it's second down now. They'll keep it on the ground. Douglas. And he'll take this one up over the 20 to the 21-yard line. Five yards. Now it's third and five. They'll need five on this play to move the sticks. Third down, Douglas. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. A Bronco first down there, 12 yards on the play. Now a handoff up the middle, Douglas. And he's tackled a yard short of the marker. Good gain of nine on first down. Well, this defense for the Cowboys, they really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. And what I saw on film was a nearly unstoppable pass rush. Five sacks last week, plenty of hurries given up. So now what do you do on offense? You just max protect, keep everyone in and run the ball, or maybe just one or two receiver routes in order to try and keep your quarterback upright. Now they'll switch it up here and look to throw. And he takes a shot on the release as this will be incomplete. You look at this Cowboy defense. They really played well a week ago in that win over the Jets. And what I saw on the film was nearly an unstoppable pass rush. They had five sacks last week, plenty of hurries. So now do you just max protect on offense, keep everyone in and run, you know, one or two receiver routes to make sure your quarterback stays up? We'll soon find out. It's a gain of three and it gets him the first. They did tell us they wanted to establish the ground game early, didn't they? They did, and a small sample size that we've seen so far, but pretty good return. Yeah, you gotta like that. They strung together a couple of first downs, established what they wanted, the running game. And guess what? They also got their lead guy running it pretty well, too. It's a pickup of four, and it'll bring up second down. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. To throw on second down, Reed. On oh, the throw led him too much that time. It's incomplete. They'll put a check mark in the box where the defense coordinator was saying, how well can we stay with these receivers if we're in man coverage? Because he just did it on that one, forced the incompletion. That allowed him to get bolder with his pass rush, won't it? Absolutely. Freeze up your guys elsewhere. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. Not the opening possession they were looking for, especially on the road. No doubt about it, because they wanted to come out and establish a little momentum right away. But now bringing up a fourth down, an empty possession, not what they were seeking. 33 yards is the distance on the punt there. And the Cowboys will take over the football with a first and 10. start this drive out on the ground <laughs> still fighting and he's taken down but able to slip across the 35 first play of the drive a success 19 yards so from the 36 now first and 10 they'll keep it on the ground it's Webster and he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. 18 more yards there and another first down. Absolutely no trouble moving the ball on the ground on the first two plays from scrimmage. Absolutely. You know what I really like? Same guy carrying the ball in both plays. And what drives me crazy is when a back has a nice run, he taps his helmet to go out of the game. I would want the ball again and again and again because you've established really nice momentum 
And now you see him the field really well. Calling a gain of six on the play, and it'll be second down. The Cowboys at 7-2 here on the year. Their head coach, he's got them believing in themselves. They've won seven of their last nine games now. And I thought that they played pretty well last week. Their execution, their discipline, their result. And it is caught at the 10-yard line. And they move this all the way down to the nine. That goes for a gain of 31. The chain gang hustling to catch up. Here's first and goal from just inside the 10. Now a handoff running through the middle. And a nice pick up there. He gets about five down to the four-yard line. Second and goal from inside the five. And they'll give him another shot here on the ground. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. That second down play nets a minus four. An interesting and intriguing decision there defensively because they kept extra DBs on the field despite seeing the multiple tight end look that came out for the offense. I thought they were going to switch out of it. I didn't know if they felt they didn't have time or what the case was. Well, in any event, the extra speed allowed for great penetration as they stuffed that one behind the line of scrimmage. They'll run here on third and goal. And it'll fight through one tackle. And he will fight his way into the end zone for a Cowboy touchdown. A great effort there. His 12th rushing touchdown of the year. And the Cowboys are on the board first here this afternoon. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that makes the score 7-0. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. at the line ready to go four and four their record through eight games on the season would you say that this team has overperformed underperformed or they're kind of right where you thought that they would be do you mind if i say yes yes and yes <laughs> because ultimately to me four and four is about where they should be because we've seen weeks where they've been really really good they've looked terrific other weeks where we wonder just how good is this team they want to be consistent in their play not consistently inconsistent, which is what they've been thus far. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Broncos football as we begin quarter number two. As they've got it with a first and ten. Operating from the gun, Reed. Looking middle, and it's incomplete. Certainly appeared to take away his first read, and by the time he tried to look elsewhere and find an open target, the coverage was too good. That one falls incomplete. On second down, Douglas. And he's got a good gain of seven up to the 37. That was a really nice run there to bring up third and short. After the incompletion on first down, it's awfully nice to have a running back that you can hand it to and put you back in a good situation. On third and short, they'll try and pick it up through the air. Now they set up the screen. That's complete. Now he's going to get this all the way down inside the 35. It was third and short, and they go flying past the marker for a gain of nearly 30 yards. So from Cowboy territory now, here's first and 10 at the 34. Looking to throw. Reed. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. With how the coverage was positioned, up was about the only spot the quarterback had to try and deliver that pass. Just put a little too much height on it. Incomplete. He'll try again with the arm here on second down. And this one is incomplete. Well, it looked like they marched to the end zone and sort a momentary roadblock with that incompletion. No need to panic. They just got to come up with a high percentage play call and see if they can get their offense back on track. A 
Again, he'll drop to throw. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 12-yard line. Give him 22 there on the third down conversion. From down at the 12, it's first and 10. Up the middle they go. Douglas. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. A quick throw caught out wide by Judy. They do get a couple, but they'll be left staring at a third and eight coming up. The goal of a wide receiver screen is get enough blockers in front to create a wall and let him pick his spot to run the football. How about the defense there swarming to it and not allowing that to happen? Did not let him get downfield. Now Reed on third down. Uh, he had a man open, but he missed him, and it's incomplete. So another incompletion there. He's hitting on fewer than half his pass attempts in this one, and that is not a winning formula. Yes, let's make sure we give a little bit of credit to the defense here. They give him a lot to think about, a lot of different looks, and he seems a little bit confused trying to complete passes. So he's been automatic to this point of the season, and he connects on the field goal there. And what a luxury it is to have a kicker you can depend upon, partner, because he hasn't missed all year long. Converts on that one as well. And kudos to you, you didn't jinx him. So after the made field goal, here's McPherson to send this one away. Oh, a good return up past the 30. And what a return, great field position all the way out to the 48 there. At some point, we're going to get it through our heads. Special teams, special teams, special teams. The spark that often wins games. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And it's only November, but the playoffs, we know how it works. They'll be here before you know it. If it ended today, they would be the number one seed. And that's a great spot to be in, but I love the phrase, if it ended today. And I'll guarantee you, that's what they've discussed in their locker room, in their meeting rooms. Yeah, we know where we'd be if it ended today, but we also know it's not ending today. Right. So they've got to continue to play the type of ball that put them in the spot where they're number one in the conference. Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. They head to the line facing a third and seven following the incompletion on second down. Now a shotgun snap as they'll look to throw. Uncorks one for Davis. And that will be incomplete. Well, they weren't scared to let it fly, but it falls to the ground and brings up fourth down. They geared up and took the deep shot downfield, but it turned out it wasn't one-on-one -on -one coverage. Extra defenders in the area, and that one winds up incomplete. On fourth down, Forbes. This is Fan on the short completion. And he is going to have the Cowboys first down. And that wasn't easy, but they do wind up converting a fourth and seven to keep this drive moving. They'll stick with the passing game as he looks to throw. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Webster. So give him five yards there on the pitch and catch, and it's second down. Now that's the type of play that gives you a chance to win. Nothing forced downfield where you don't have a guy open. Swing it out to the back on maybe even check it down, whatever you want to call it. Gain a five. You're just trying to get four on first down. They're ahead of the chains now. And this Bronco defense really selling out to stop the run, and it pays off. They get him behind the line twice in a row. On third down, Forbes. And unable to connect, incomplete. Now give them credit, they took their shot, but it's going to bring up fourth down. So now they're going to send out the field goal unit to, as they say, fire away from long distance. And he has got it from 55 yards away. That was never in down. 
push the lead up to a touchdown now at 10 to 3. So a nice kick there as they add three to the lead. And from what I've seen so far, Brandon, I think they've been the better of the two teams here in the first half. So even though you want the touchdown, I think that's a nice job there to put three points on the board. The Broncos onto the field ready to start their next drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. They also have to remember, they did put points on the board. Three points is three points. And in this league, you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. An incomplete pass leads to second and ten from the 25. They'll try the left side. Douglas. He'll be dropped after a gain of about six across the 30 to the 31. Yeah, that's on the guard, Wyatt Teller. They'll come up now on a second and long after the hold. Now a handoff up the middle. Douglas. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind the line of scrimmage. Just a one-yard loss that time, but that's not what they needed. Now they're dealing with a third and long. Possession goes over here on the punt. And the Cowboys are going to take over in great position here with a first and ten. On first down, Webster. And down to the 41. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. On second down now, it's Webster, and he gets it down to the 32. 58 yards rushing for him now as his fine rookie season continues. They'll run on first down. Webster. And taking it to the 15-yard line before he's brought down. And quickly, they get to the line. Throwing on first down. Forbes. He'll be hit and taken down at the 21. The Cowboys signal for their third and final timeout. As they'll stop it with 17 seconds to go in this first half of action. Looking to throw on second down. Forbes. And this is going to be intercepted. Kyler Gordon picks it off. And the Broncos are going to take possession here. It's a touchback. And they'll take over at the 20-yard line. Well, CD, I know it's just his second year in the league as a quarterback, but that's going to be one when he flips on the tape. He's like, ah, I shouldn't have thrown that ball. No doubt about it. And his coaching staff will be emphatic about he shouldn't have thrown that ball. But remember, second year, as you noted, on the job training. So he's got to take this feedback that he's getting, negative or otherwise, and turn it into positives moving forward. That one going for a gain of 11 and a Bronco first down. Off the play fake. Reed sliding out of the pocket. And he's left with no option here but to throw it away. I thought at first he'd try to run, but he just kept buying time to his right. Finally, nothing there. He wisely gets rid of it. 
Here's Reed. A final shot before break. Oh, he'll air this one deep for Judy. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome you back now alongside Charles Davis. I'm Brandon Gordon getting set for quarter number three here. The Cowboys will get the football first here and they have the lead as well as we are underway in quarter three. Taken at the goal line. And he won't quite make it to the 25. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. We have not seen much on offense here from either side these last few drives. We've hit a wall, so to speak. And have hit it hard, haven't we? Because the defenses right now, they seem to be a step ahead, don't they? Beating them to the point of attack, beating them to the punch. These offensive guys are tinkering like crazy. What's it going to take to get back on track? Yeah, both sides searching for adjustments. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. We've seen these defenses make enough opportunistic plays to keep this one low scoring. Flying around, making plays on the ball. And we see yet another errant throw as a result. Off play action. Forbes. That is caught. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Marking down at the 49. A pickup of 27. And they pick up the first down in the process. They run the counter. It's Webster, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Off the play fake. Forbes. He'll be brought down by the Broncos. It's a sack. And now they're in the hurry up. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. And this pass broken up. Now the contact well timed there, and now fourth down. Out now comes the Cowboys punter, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. He only punted twice in the win last week as he gets this one away. This is taken at the 10. It'll be a net of 40 yards following a punt of 44. And it'll be first and 10 Broncos from deep in their own territory. Denver offense at the line, ready to go. And Charles, they're certainly still right in this game, but they need that offense to wake up and in a hurry. Yeah, I like the way you put it. They certainly did seem to sleepwalk a bit in the first half. Now that their defense has done its job, it's their turn now to go out and try and get some points. There they'll keep leaning on the running game. Back to the ground. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. And now it looks like they're going to be in the hurry up. On first down, they'll go to the ground attack. And a hard-earned yard there as he ran through one would-be tackler. It's second down. Defensively, we always know that he is tough at run support, and I think the way that he gets there is he understands what an offense is going to do before the ball's even snapped. A great job of scouting prior to the game, then reading, reacting, and taking the right path to the ball carrier. On second down, they'll run it here. And he'll push ahead for about three to the 36. 
Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job standing in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. On third down, Douglas. And he'll get this up to about the 38-yard line. Just a one-yard gain on the play, and that'll be the call to the punt team as it's fourth down. The Broncos send out their punter now as he's on to kick it away. And here's a fair catch taken at about the 24-yard line. Just 34 yards on the punt there, no return. And it will be first and 10 as they take over. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. And both of these defenses have been stifling these last few drives offensively. Just not able to get anything going. So what needs to change? I think a lot of the guys will go back and review, so to speak, because everyone has someone assigned to. How did each play work? Okay, what did, what did we use that kind of worked for us during this game? Try and get back to some of those plays, as well as the possibility of showing something you haven't shown already in this game and trying to change things up. We'll see if they take the advice of Mr. Davis. And they got it well across midfield, down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 108 yards for him on the ground now, as he has been terrific here this afternoon. Now a play fake here on first down. Oh, he was hit as he threw it there, and that one winds up incomplete. I think he's got to be careful not to force anything into coverage right there. There weren't really any throwing lanes, but the best part for him, he's got second and third down to fall back on. On second down, it's Webster. And now the rookie spree. And they will eventually get him down, but he's inside the five on the way to the three. That one good for 37 yards. And we're seeing the effect that runs like that are starting to have on this game. They're a little bit slower, that front seven reacting to the football, almost like body blows in boxing. Slowing them down, and they're really starting to take over in this game. Right back to him on first down. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. Two of their three red zone trips so far, they've come up empty on. They'll look to reverse that trend on second and goal. And they'll take it into the end zone for the Cowboy touchdown. A great play there with his 13th touchdown of the year and second of the game. And the Cowboys will add on to their lead here in the final minute of the third. Carlson's extra point up and good. And the lead is now 17-3. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. And this will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Broncos onto the field, ready to start their next drive. And really, Charles, not much of a surprise that they're losing. They just haven't been able to get much of anything going in the pass game. And as you well know, in today's NFL, if the passing game isn't working, usually not much else is working either. Exactly right about that part there. And I know that right now, the easy answer would be, hey, let's run the football. But that might not be everything you need. So despite the fact that they've struggled throwing it, they've got to find some type of a play multiple plays that puts the ball in the air and allows for them to have some success. Got his man. It's Bo Melton. And he'll take this to the other side of midfield before going out of bounds. It'll go as an impressive 31-yard gain. Operating from the gun. Reed. Another catch for Milton. And he's going to get this one down to the edge of the red zone. And they're not going to get to the line to run another play. So we will switch ends as the third quarter has come to a close. 
But we'll return with more after this. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. They'll send a receiver in motion to the right. Back to throw again. They'll try and set up the screen. It's complete. And this will leave them a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, but it could have gone for more. Second down and a yard. Up the middle they go. Douglas. And for a second straight play, that Cowboy defense gets him to the ground behind a line of scrimmage. Reed on third and two. And that is caught. Touchdown, Denver. George Kittle, his third touchdown now on the year. And the Broncos have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Extra point by McPherson, up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. After the touchdown, McPherson on to kick this one away. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Their lead back down to one score after the touchdown a moment ago. First down's a must on this drive as they start out here first and ten. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Now I'm guessing you'd say this is kind of the key here. Grind out some yardage, work on that clock, see if you can continue to tick it down. Definitely, you want to bleed things out at this point, right? Continue to possess the football, gain some yardage, and put the onus on the defense. Do they have to use timeouts? What are they going to do to stop you? You're taking charge. They try to throw on second down, but this one is incomplete. Well, you most certainly don't want to go three and out here and give the football right back because your friend, Old Momentum, he's wondering if he should change sidelines about right now. And if you don't convert here, guess what? He's going to make the trek to the opposite side, and all of a sudden, you've got a battle on your hands. Now look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. And he's going to take this one back to the 37-yard line. A critical error there in a tight game of the fourth. All you talk about is taking care of the football, and especially with a lead here in the fourth quarter. Turning it over, now the door is open for the opposition. Just in general, when you're passing in the fourth quarter with a lead, no matter at what point, you got to be super careful. Got to be careful, and sometimes you can be so careful that you end up running yourself into an error. This is second and eight. They'll keep it on the ground. Douglas. They're all the way home for a Bronco score. A great effort there. 34 yards. And the Broncos are an extra point away from tying this game here on the fourth. We are set up for a fantastic finish now. A fourth quarter touchdown here. We're an extra point away from a tie football game. And I know they're thinking about possibly going for two, but I'd go ahead and kick this one and just get it back to level. Don't forget the extra point. It's up and good. And we are tied here in the fourth quarter. Now this one setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. 
And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. The Dallas offense here set to begin the drive. They no longer have the lead after that last touchdown, all tied up in the fourth quarter, and a chance for this offense to mount a potential game-winning. And this is going to be intercepted. And the Broncos are going to get it back here just past the 35. Well, we say it often, Charles, but not all interceptions are created equally, and that is a big one here in a tie ball game in the fourth quarter. And, Brandon, when games are this close, it usually comes down to the team making the fewest mistakes, and that was one of our mantras back at Tennessee. Coach Major say all the time, the team making the fewest mistakes will win. You've got to cut those down to give yourself an opportunity. He'll work his way up the middle for a gain of about four, second down. The defense thought they had that play covered, but it still got driven backward by those blockers. Those types of plays are a key part of any team's offensive game plan. It all starts up front in the trenches. Second down and six now. Now a handoff up the middle. Douglas. And slow going there as he'll only get a yard, maybe, up to the 41. Well done to sniff that out defensively. He had it diagnosed pretty quickly. I love that description because diagnosed is perfect on that one. Read his keys, made the play, and he couldn't even get going moving the football. Looking to throw. Reed. Good job in coverage there. They took away his top read on the play, so he went through his progressions and ended up settling on his running back who scored on their last possession, but the coverage held. It goes incomplete. Now on fourth down, on is the punt team sending this one away. Take it in at the 11. It'll be a 44-yard punt. The return goes for eight. And they will take over first and ten. About set for this next drive by the Cowboys offense. Excellent job by their defense to force the punt and provide them with this opportunity all tied in the fourth quarter. A big play there on the catch and run, and even 50 yards. So the big play changes the complexion of things. Here's first and 10 just outside the 30. the gun they'll look to throw a quick throw but incomplete that certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down second and short i think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion and for one of the few times here today this one's not going to go anywhere and now a tough spot here this is third and ten Back to throw. Forbes. And a throw there going to be incomplete. So many times we talk about coverage, we're just talking about a defender running with a receiver, but a big part of it is understanding where the football is, finding it. In this case, when it arrived, it wasn't a surprise, and he was able to bat it away. So the drive here ends with a field goal. It does give them the lead, but this one's still certainly a long way from that. The definitely puts a lot of pressure on your defense to hold the lead, right? They're happy to have it and happy to be out there trying to do so. But I know as a former player, in the back of their mind, they're thinking, why don't you score the touchdown and seal this thing? And here comes a return from the middle of the end zone. And now off to the races, down the right side. 
Still going. One man to beat. And he will score. Touchdown, Broncos. They had just relinquished the lead on the field goal. Ensuing kickoff, they get that lead right back. So does this come under the heading of you can't keep a good team down? There you go. That I mean, works. I mean, for an eye. I'm with you on that one. Just to be able to break back immediately. Not down at all. No heads down after giving up the lead. And coming right back at them. And a special team score? That's like gold in a coach's manual. So let's try this again. After the kick return TD, here's yet another kickoff. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. This is first and ten. They'll start this drive out on the ground. And not a whole lot of room to operate there on the first down run. He gets maybe three. They'll come up now on second down. Back to throw. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And this is taken in at the five. Touchdown, Cowboys. A big play there. His first touchdown on the year. And the Cowboys use the defensive breakdown to take the lead away here in the fourth. They get one more as the extra points up and good. So it's now a three-point game here in the closing stages as a field goal now can only tie it. Now this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And the decision to bring it out, not a good one as he's tackled at the 15. They'll come up first and ten here. They'll look to throw. Looking for Gray, and he's got him. I don't know that those medium five-ish yard gains are going to do it right now. Probably should have dropped it, right? Yeah, that way you save more time on the clock. But I know receivers, they think they can catch it and break a tackle and turn it into a big game. Complete to Davis, and he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. Now that is the two-minute drill at its very best. Get the completion, get a big chunk of yardage, and then get out of bounds to save those timeouts. You cannot do it any better than that. Now a run on first down is not going to get off the ground as they will get it behind the line of scrimmage for a loss of three. Sometimes you just sit back and marvel at what he can do defensively. Speed, strength, quickness, he's the whole package. And that package just wrapped up the runner for a loss. He's back to throw. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Now the Broncos are going to call the first of their timeouts. As the clock shows 50 seconds to play here in quarter number four. This crowd turning up the decibel level. It's third and long. Back to throw. And he's got his man in stride complete. 
And he's going to have another first down here as the tackle's made at the Cowboys' 33. And here we are in the fourth quarter, partner, and watch him drive for what would be a go-ahead touchdown. And you and I both know this is where you need a quarterback who can keep his cool back there, not just for himself, but to keep the rest of the team relaxed, too. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. And when you're throwing the ball downfield really well like they have been on this drive, it's really a nice time to work one of the screen plays in. One of my favorite play callers in the game has always told me he starts every game with 10 to 12 screens because if he starts feeling the pressure from the defense, he uses their aggressiveness against them. He'll look to throw. He'll find Gabriel Davis. And they'll work it inside the 15-yard line before it's all said and done. Now the Broncos are going to use the second of their timeouts as he'll stop it with 11 seconds remaining in the ballgame. They'll look to throw again. It's complete. He dials up Davis once more. And with four seconds remaining, they will call the timeout. So just enough of a cushion there to bring on the field goal unit and try to send this one to the extra session. They'll try and sneak it here. And nowhere to run on the interior of that defensive line. He'll get back only to the line of scrimmage. Well, this fan base on the losing side, Charles, they're going to be talking about this one for a while. They ultimately decided to try to come up with a touchdown on that last play when all they needed was the field goal to force overtime. Yeah, and the reasoning behind it, that's what we're all waiting to hear because sometimes there's things that we don't see on the surface. Did the coach feel like, you know, if he, if he tied the game, they couldn't go any farther, they had too many injuries? I'm not sure what was going on there, but I'm with you. I'm stunned they didn't try and kick the field goal there. So for Dallas, they continue to put themselves in position for a first-round bye as they move to 8-2. and two. And they'll get to stay home again next week. Meanwhile, for the Broncos, they are barely afloat as they fall to 4-5. and five.